The Embarcadero could look very different in the coming years. Thanks to a plan to raise the ferry building and the roads seven feet. The reason? City and federal leaders are trying to get ahead of climate change. Our future depends on taking action now. This is why the draft plan is so critical to protecting the city's seawall from earthquake and flooding risks. That draft plan from the Army Corps of Engineers shows how rising sea levels could damage the shoreline. They are proposing a massive project that not only would elevate seven miles of the Embarcadero, but also raise the shoreline from Aquatic Park all the way to Heron's Head Park at a cost of over $13 billion. It establishes approximately where the Corps of Engineers and the city to build uh, coastal resiliency and mitigation features, both structural and nature-based. City and federal leaders want to act fast, taking public comment in 2025, obtaining congressional approval in 2026, and if Congress signs off, completing the project by 2040. We can all feel confident that we did something to impact future generations, and we have set the seed for them to also think about how we take care of the planet and leave it in better condition than we found it. If approved, roads and buildings along the Embarcadero will be closed for months or even years, creating a downtown disruption that officials say is necessary. This is about the potential for massive disruption of our city, of our transit systems, uh, of our downtown. We cannot let that happen. Now, the federal government would pay about 65% of the project. The rest would come through city and state funding. If all goes to plan, it would be the most expensive infrastructure project in city history. Live in the newsroom, Ryan Curry, ABC7 News. All right, Ryan, thank you.